Hello, hello, Canyon Lake. It's Erin Woods, your children's ministry coordinator, and I'm coming to you today hoping that you are feeling more refreshed. Today we're refreshing ourselves by talking about not letting things hold us back. You know that I always like to have some sort of visual to help you understand what our lesson is today. And when I thought about holding things back, I thought about a little car. But this is a special little car because it's one of those cars where you can pull back and then let go. Do you hear it? These little cars are super fun, aren't they? Because you can pull them back and let go and they go on their own. But what happens if you pull it back and then you never let it go? Are you scared to let it go? Are you scared that it's going to fall off the table and break? There are a lot of things that we worry about. What if, what if, what if? And if we let those what ifs take over, then we don't get to do what God made us to do. We don't get to have any fun either. Recently, my son Joe has had a hard time going to sleep. He'll wake up in the middle of the night sometimes and he will have bad dreams. It's happened so many times actually that he is now too scared or too anxious to go to sleep. It's holding him back from going to sleep. What we talked about last night is we talked about letting go of the fear of having a bad dream or not being able to sleep through the night so that he could get a good night's sleep. And it's hard to let that go. So we prayed about it. And by golly, I don't know if it was prayers or if he was just super, super tired, but he slept through the night and didn't have any bad dreams. What kind of things worry you? Is it COVID? Is it friends going to school? Maybe they're not nice. Are you worried about what's going to happen at school? There are so many things that can worry us and hold us back. But if we let go and we, are, we allow ourselves and trust God and allow ourselves to experience all the wonderful things that God's given us, then we will be sent out into the world to do all of those wonderful things. So I hope the next time that you get worried about something, you will remember this remote control car and remember to just let go, to give those things to God, to pray and to let them go so that you can have the amazing, wonderful life that God has planned for you. Have a great week. See you later.